Hello everyone, Zaid from Z Security here, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at some of the best hacking hardware out there. Now, before we start the video, I would like to thank you guys for hitting 200,000 subscribers. I'm really happy to see that you're enjoying my content. And as a way of saying thank you, I'm gonna host an hour live session where you can ask whatever questions you want. We can have a bit of a conversation, just have fun, talk about anything you want. The only thing is it's not gonna be on YouTube and I'm not sure when, but it will be within a week or two, maybe three weeks. But the best way for you to know when I'm doing it is to follow us on our social media. I will let you at least a week or two in advance and I will give you a link to access it, but it's not gonna be on YouTube. So make sure you follow us on social media to know when we're gonna do it. And I also would like to thank our sponsors for this video, Linode. Linode is a powerful and easy to use cloud provider. They're giving you, our followers, $100 free credit if you sign up with the links below. So you can use this free money to create machines on the cloud that will always be on and always connected to the internet. So you can use this to do so many things such as hosting your own web applications, own files, and much more. I actually covered hosting your own VPN with Linode previously and I also covered cracking WPA really really quick, literally in seconds, using their powerful GPUs. The video links are in the description if you're interested and like I said, use the link in the description to get $100 free credit with them. Thanks again Linode for sponsoring this video and let's get started. Right, so let's get into the video and talk about the best hacking hardware out there. Now, some of these devices have been around for a while now, they weren't invented this year, but they still work perfectly and they're still very useful and that's why we're gonna include them. So we're gonna start off with bad USB HID or keystroke injectors. These devices are simply USB devices that when connected to a computer, they register themselves as a keyboard and you pre-program them to send keystrokes very, very quickly. As a result, as a hacker, you can program it to download and execute malware from the internet, you can program it to run commands to send you a reverse connection. You can get it to get all the stored passwords on the computer and send them to you, get you the stored Wi-Fi password, and so much more. The coolest thing about this attack or these devices is that they simulate a keyboard. Therefore, if programmed properly, they will run completely undetectable without your antivirus even being aware that this is happening. Also, they are pretty easy to deliver to the target especially now that you can get them embedded in USB power cables, just like this one right here. So you can easily social the target by saying, can I charge my phone using this cable or gift it to them as part of a swag, pretending to be a company that the target works with. Even the normal ones, the ones that look like a storage device like this one, they're pretty easy to deliver as well. As shown in Mr. Robot, you can simply just have them laying around the target and hope that they connect it to their computer or again, send it as a gift or as a swag, pretending to be a company that the target person works with. And I'm sure you can think of many ways to deliver or gift a power cable or a storage device to your target, or you can simply just connect it yourself when the target is not attending their computer. You can get both of these devices from our store from zsecurity.org forward slash shop. This bad boy right here has a Wi-Fi chip and we actually heavily modified its software or its firmware to get the most out of it. So you can fully control it over Wi-Fi using a web interface and we added a number of ready payloads for you to use and execute with simple clicks without the need for any programming. We have payloads for Windows, Linux, and OS X, and it allows you to gain full access to these targets and extract data, steal their stored passwords, and so much more, like I said, simply with simple clicks without the need for any programming. Also, with our modified one, you can use the Wi-Fi chip to start a fake Wi-Fi network or a honeypot that will attract people to connect to it to get free internet. And once they connect, just like any other free Wi-Fi network, it'll ask them to log in using their social media. If the target logs in, it's gonna store the username and the password they used, and you will be able to easily see it again remotely over Wi-Fi using the web interface. Check out the links in the description and in the cards for more information. 
And guys, if you're enjoying this video, I really appreciate it if you smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. This gives me and gives YouTube feedback that you're enjoying my content, so it pushes us to more people and it also pushes me to make more videos. Next in the list, we have hardware keyloggers. So an example is this tiny device right here. And the way it works is you connect this part to the target computer, and then you connect the target keyboard to this USB port in here. Then this device is gonna record every single keystrike typed on that keyboard. Now, depending on the device type, the normal ones will start in their storage. So they have an internal storage in here. The pro versions will start on the cloud. So you'll be able to access it from anywhere in the internet. So we actually had to heavily modify it to get it to start on the cloud and where we program the cloud part of it ourselves. Now we have both of these versions in our shop. Plus we also have a two in one version that can act as a hardware keylogger and a keystrike injector. So you can decide what you want to do once you connect it to the target computer. The sad thing about the two in one device is that it does not have the remote capabilities. So it'll only store the keystrikes on the internal storage. The only one that can send the keystrikes to the cloud is the pro version and it can only be used as a hardware keylogger. Now you can get any of these from anywhere on the internet. So feel free to do your own research, except for the pro one, because like I said, we actually modified that one to store the data for you on the cloud so you can access it from anywhere on the internet. Moving on to the third device on the list, and it is a wireless adapter, similar to this one right here. Now, most computers these days come in with a built-in wireless adapter, but it is no good for hacking. And the reason for that is, first of all, you can't connect it to virtual machines. And most of these built-in devices do not support packet injection, monitor mode, or AP mode. Monitor mode is needed to capture data that is not sent to our computer. Packet injection is needed to inject data into flows. And AP mode is needed if you want to start your own fake Wi-Fi network or honeypot. So, for you to be able to crack Wi-Fi networks, sniff data, capture them, modify them, or start fake Wi-Fi networks, you need a wireless adapter that is good for hacking. The brand does not matter. I spoke about all of this in the video, so check the video for more information. But in my opinion, it is essential for hackers to have a Wi-Fi or a wireless adapter that support these modes and can be used for hacking. Next on the list is an Android phone with NetHunter installed on it. NetHunter is an Android version that is designed for hacking. It comes with a large number of tools that can be very, very useful. For example, you can use it to launch keystroke injection attacks, similar to the keystroke injection devices. The cool thing about it is, it's very easy to social engineer a person and tell them, I simply just want to charge my phone. Once they connect the phone to their computer, your phone is gonna send keystrikes very, very quickly to send you a reverse shell, execute malware, extract saved passwords, and the list goes on. You can also have the phone intercept the network data flow within that computer, so you can see everything that is sent to and from that computer, read it and modify it on the fly to execute other attacks like DNS spoofing attacks and so on. You can execute and use a lot of tools that come with Kali Linux, so you'll be able to launch a large number of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth attacks. You can bypass login screens because you can mount it as a storage device and use Comboot to do that. So you can do so much more. I actually had a full course about this back in the day, but I just took it out because it got out of date. But there is a new version of NetHunter and it is awesome. Last but not least on our list is a Raspberry Pi computer. These computers are actually very small, the Raspberry Pi Zero is even smaller than a credit card, and it's a fully fleshed computer with decent amount of memory, storage, and processing power. So you can actually install any hacking tools that you want. You can even install Kali Linux on it, and then the sky's the limit. You'll be able to do whatever you want with it. A really cool example or way of using it is that you can have it automatically send a reverse connection to you once connected to a network, and that'll basically allow you to get access to any network you want simply by plugging it into a LAN port. Then from there, you can run whatever tools you want. You can run Nmap, you can run BetterCap, you can sniff data, you can modify data, edit it, do whatever you want. You can also use it to launch fake Wi-Fi networks and honeypots and extract usernames and passwords that get inputted through it. You can do so much. You can pretty much do everything that I show on my courses and so much more.
This brings me to a very important point, which is to think outside of the box, because there are so many cool devices out there that you can actually use them for hacking. And there are companies that are selling you hacking devices, but they're simply devices that have existed for a while and they're simply just charging you more for labeling them or calling them hacking devices. For example, you can use a simple wireless grabber or video transmitter in order to spy on a target screen, a computer screen or any kind of screen. You simply have to just plug it at the back of that screen and it will transmit whatever that is being displayed on that screen to you and now you have access to it. There's companies selling you this as a hacking device but this has existed for very long. Same goes with the phone when I said an Android phone and same goes with the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is just a computer but when you weaponize it, when you install the tools that you need for hacking, it becomes a hacking tool. So keep your mind open and think outside of the box and you'll see that you can use so many existing tools as hacking tools. Anyway, in my opinion, the five tools that I mentioned are the most essential. Obviously, there are much more hacking tools like RFID hacking tools and Bluetooth hacking tools, but I just wanted to focus on the most essential tools, in my opinion, for hackers. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite. Let me know if I missed anything. Let me know if you like the video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're enjoying my content. That really helps us with the algorithm and helps to push the video for more people. And see you soon.